Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over x all raised to a multiplied by x. a in this video is just a real number. Let's begin by rewriting the limit as the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x raised to a times x. Now we can use properties of the natural logarithm and bring this power down to the front. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to a times x multiplied by the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x. Let's just go a step further and rewrite the limit as the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over a times x. These two are the same because if we were to just multiply by ax here and ax here, we would have what we have right here. Now, as the exponential function is a continuous function, we can actually move the limit inside of the exponential function. Doing so gives us e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over a times x. Now, if we were to just let x tend to infinity, we would have 0 divided by 0. And in order to evaluate a limit of that form, we need to use L'Hopital's rule. So let's go ahead and do so. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of the numerator is just minus 1 divided by x squared plus x. The derivative of the denominator is just minus 1 divided by a times x squared. Simplifying this expression gives us e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of a times x divided by x plus 1. All we've done is multiply a times x squared by negative 1 and x squared x by negative 1 down here and then cancel the factor of x. In order to simplify this limit further, what we're going to go ahead and do is divide through by the highest power of x. So we're going to have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity. So a times x divided by x is just a and x plus 1 divided by x is just 1 plus 1 over x. If we just let x tend to infinity, we're left with e raised to a and that's the final answer to this problem. If you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day.